What's up everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing a quick little preview video of my upcoming semester for the fall 2021 semester. Thus far I've completed 12 credit hours, so that's 4 classes, and this semester I'll be continuing the tradition of taking 2 classes a semester, and let's get started. If you've watched my previous videos, you might know that I ended up dropping machine learning for trading at the last minute for this past summer 2021 semester. And in retrospect, I don't have any regrets about that since I definitely enjoyed this summer. Uh, things are opening back up with the vaccination. I guess things are kind of going back now with this new variant and whatnot. But I have no regrets. With that being said, I still want to progress as quickly as possible, so I'm taking two classes again this semester and they are machine learning and data analytics and security. So I'll briefly touch on each, uh, but I'm hoping that it won't be too much and I really wanna kinda stay on a track to finish this whole master's program in around two and a half, three years at most. The first class that I'm gonna talk about is called data analytics and security. And if you haven't heard of it, there's probably a reason why. It's because it's not offered by the College of Computing, but it is a class that we are able to take as part of our elective courses for the online masters in computer science. And just to be straight up with everyone, I am taking this class because I want credit hours and I want an easy A. According to reviews on OMS Central, this class is really easy and the average workload is three hours a week. And that was enough to get me to sign up for it. If you're looking to do the same thing, basically if you read the fine print on the website for the requirements for online masters in computer science, we're only allowed to take six credit hours in subject areas that are not in the CS or CSE uh, categories. And this is one of them. So I can give you a brief overview of what the syllabus is about and it does seem relatively interesting but it does cater to a non-technical market since it is in the School of International Affairs and I think that should make for an easy class. So let's take a look at what I'm supposed to be learning here. Looking at the syllabus, I will say that I actually am excited for the course material. It seems like the assignments are in R and Python, and as you may know, Python is my preferred language, maybe JavaScript, but it seems like Python nowadays. But R is something that I've never actually ventured into, and it seems like this will be a very light introduction, so I appreciate that. I think that'll be fun, and overall it seems like the course is just an introduction to data analytics its implications, um, and I am a technical guy, but I definitely enjoy writing, and I have pretty good soft skills and writing abilities, so I think this class should be good. And that brings me to the second course, which is Machine Learning, CS7641. I'm gonna be candid with you guys, I have done absolutely nothing at all to prepare for this class. Uh, I did take AI and AI4 Robotics prior to this, I don't really have any experience with scikit-learn. I shouldn't say I don't have any experience. I have very little experience. Uh, I have not watched any of the lecture videos on Udacity at all. So I'm really just coming into this kind of raw, but hoping for the best. I really just wanted to enjoy my summer as I alluded to earlier. And my opinions on this class are purely based on lore and the reviews on OMS Central and Reddit. The syllabus is not even out yet since technically the first day of class is tomorrow and I'm filming this the day before. So I don't really know exactly what to expect. It seems like people really like this class or a lot of people really, really dislike this class. So hopefully I'll be in the former category. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I know I don't really have much of a choice. I'm a specialization with machine learning. so. This is one of the core classes and we're required to take this class. So I can't say I chose this class uh, out of will, but I think even if it weren't required, I would choose this class since this was kind of one of the categories that I actually wanted to pursue this master's in the first place, um, was to kind of learn more about machine learning. So I'm interested just because I know it says that most people spend 20 hours a week 
um, and rate this as a four out of five in terms of difficulty. So pretty similar to artificial intelligence. I'm really hoping just to scrape by with something on the lighter end. Uh, I'm perfectly okay with getting a B or maybe a C plus. I really just want to make sure I pass, obviously, since it's required. But I don't really care too much about grades anymore. I've kind of let that go since, um, I don't know, I just feel like a master's degree grades aren't as important. It's more about just uh, learning at your own pace as long as you're getting those requirements done. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, overall, I think it should be a busy semester uh, and hopefully I can just make it through. I'm really hoping to only spend two or three hours max on the data analytics and security class so I can focus most of my efforts on the machine learning course. So I'll do another video um, maybe halfway through if I have time, of course. Uh, for all we know, I may end up dropping the INTA class, but in my opinion, so far, it seems like if it's only three hours a week, you might as well do those three hours a week, even if it's painful, just so that way you don't have to do a whole another semester of classes. All right, signing off for now. See you guys next time.